freemmostation.com. What is up, guys? My name is Matt AKA Trilliant here, bringing you another episode of What You Plan for freemmostation.com. This time around, we're going to take a look at Urban Galaxy Online. It is a free-to-play browser-based game. It is a kind of it's a futuristic game, and the only real game I have to compare this to is Air Rivals, and that's barely even comparable because they're still almost two completely separate games. This is really a game on its own level. It's basically its own genre of games. And I really like it. It's uh, I've only played a couple minutes of it so far, but man, I just really wanted to jump into this. And I really wanted to experience it with you guys. So let's go ahead and jump in here. Um, I didn't get too far my other character, as you can see here. Uh, so I will show you the character customization, though. I mean, it's not really a character that you make. It's more like a pilot in a ship. Now, if you're looking here at the menu, you can see that for a browser-based game, the graphics are actually really good, and the game has some really cool features, but we'll get into all of this stuff here in a bit. Alright, so there's three classes you can choose from, and the first thing you have to do is put a name in. So I'm going to do Trilliant with two L's because I already made a Trilliant with one L. Let's go next. Mercenary. A battleship pilot, ex-militia employee, that left the service to become a freelancer, counting on fighting skills to make a living. Mercenary ships are properly equipped for battle. Everybody would prefer such a guy for an ally. So, you know, mercenaries are the DPS. I mean, I'm not going to go and read through all of these. I just... That's an example. Each one has a little description. Carriers are more like your tank class, and, um... I guess smuggler would be more like a rogue-type class or whatever. But, uh... I st I'm going to do another mercenary just to show you guys how it is. I, I really like playing DPS classes. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. Now, you get different models of the ship. Uh, this is the NL-1. It's just a basic ship, and it has a little bit of extra power here. The rest of the ships have only 9 power. This one has 11. So, I mean, that's not a bad start. Uh, this one has a shield, which is pretty good. Uh... This one has extra armor, so it makes it more durable, and you will live longer. I really don't know what the difference is in having more armor or uh, shield is at the moment, so you'll have to excuse me on that one. And the last one, the NU6 Stingray, is a uh, more of like a speedy type, and I like speed. But for the sake of this video, I'm actually going to try the B Trooper because I like the fact that it has extra armor. So let's go next. And then here you can choose the colors of your ship, like if you wanted to make it like yellow and, or something or another, or neon purple. I mean, that's, that's, all, that's your choice. I'll go with green and black. That looks good enough for me. So we will... Oh, there's different designs and stuff you can get here, too. Like camouflage and desert and cougar. All of that jazz. I'll leave it like it is, though. I guess light and... I don't know what the difference is. Let's go to complete. Now it's going to jump me right into the game here. Welcome to the city of Manasin, Trilliant. I am your ship, say I. See, it actually read my Let's name out to me. by learning how to pilot. And so it's going to be talking to me and telling me how to move my character or ship, if you want, if you will. And uh, it's telling me to use WASD to move, so let's go ahead and move with WASD. Use Q, E to move vertical. And you can use Q and E to move vertically. While moving, click and hold left or right mouse button to set direction. So you can also set your direction and stuff. You have to hold Wait, down the mouse buttons. Now it's time to get our first assignment. Sorry, I don't want to talk over the robot. Immigration officer, select the ship and press space to make contact. So we'll select the ship here, press space, and we've made contact with the immigration officer. The Federation has recently joined assassin, fo assassin Forces. We try hard to maintain order in the city, but we are not there yet. Occasional attacks on districts make it necessary to be able to defend yourself. That's why we haven't set up those training drones. So we're going to accept this quest. Excellent. 
Let's learn how to engage combat. And it's going to teach me how to fight. Select an enemy ship and press space to initiate attack. Select it, and I'm pressing space, and it's not doing anything. Am I too far? Ah, I am too far. Use weapon skills to inflict additional damage by pressing one and two keys. So, it's point-and-click battle system. I mean, it's not like action-based, but it does look like you can still move around and maneuver during combat. And my quest is updated. So, let's check my quest here. And, oh, I don't want to abandon it. Do I need to go back and talk to the immigration officer? And that's probably what I need to do. So, let's go ahead and do that. Immigration officer says, need help. Alright, so I guess I'm not done with this quest. I it says, or defeat one training drone. Maybe I need to defeat more, though. Let's do this. And so you shoot out little missiles or... Is now complete. Ah, there it is. Okay. So I needed to defeat two of them. Immigration officer has requested contact. So let's go and contact the immigration officer since he's just oh so willfully requesting it. Uh, I had to select him first. You are ready to enter an Asin. Your clearance has been approved. Proceed to the portal. Complete. All right, so let's go find the portal. Brilliant. You have mastered the basics. Let's enter the city. So it looks like this Locate is the portal. The portal at the north and, press F. and that's what I need to do. So we're all done here. Let's move on into the city so I can show you a little bit more about what's going on in here. Western Neutral Region District. So, just looking at the game, we you can see it's really ma You can see it's a really massive kind of scale here. I mean, the city it looks like it's thriving and moving, and a lot of these are actually NPCs. Like these are guards and sergeants and. Here's more NPCs, and you move West up and down with Q and E. Okay, yeah, that's right. So let's go find a target. Defeat three Vervados rookie. Defeat three Dual Razor rookie. All right, so I've got a quest, which is basically your pretty standard grinding quests, which is no big deal really. I mean, here we go. Doesn't look like maneuvering around him much does a whole lot though. I'm not sure how I like that the, uh, the quest objective updating, you know, every time I kill something, or at least that that notice popping up. So let's kill this guy. I really like flying around the city. I mean, it just it just feels like it's I don't know, it just feels like it puts me into like a dystopian future and you really kind of want to know what's going on down there, but you can't see. <laughs> I don't know if you can fly down there. I might end up killing myself by doing this. Oh, no, nope, you just can't fly down there. So there's an invisible wall. That's always nice. All right, let's go find what else I need to kill. Uh, looks like I've already defeated the Dual Razor uh, rookies. So I need to find the Vervados rookies. Where are these guys at? Maybe I can click on this. I don't see Vervados rookie anywhere. Ah, there they are. They're back there. Okay. So let's go ahead. It looks like I got that locked on from a distance here. So let's maneuver our way to this guy and target him and begin the assault. Let's kill this guy and knock him out of the sky here. So some of the other features that this game has, and I don't know if I'm going to get to any of them, but this game has a dynamic event system. It Basically what happens is, I mean, random events happen that change the world and 
the way things work. I mean, I know most of you have probably heard of dynamic events, and those are usually pretty nice. It, it's... Overall, I mean, that's always a good feature to have in a game, especially this day and age. I mean, you don't, you don't want your game to be outdated. <sighs> Alright, just got one more of these guys left. Let's go ahead and knock him out. So you also have a uh, power gauge here that kind of acts like stamina, and every time you shoot one of these uh, attacks, it drains your power. So you, I mean, you don't want to continuously... Sorry, I mean, this thing's talking to me. You don't want to continuously, you know, spam your attacks and, like, end up... Oops. And end up draining your power constantly. That seems like it might end up being a bad idea, so let's not do that. Uh, so yeah, the dynamic event system, and like I said, I don't know if I'll be able to get to it or not. Um, it's it, it's got dynamic events. I mean, the the stuff changes over time. Everybody knows how dynamic events work, and uh, some of the other features in here are really really nice. And I'm about to talk to you about that, but I don't have a friend to to try this with, so I can only tell you from what I've we seen in the videos I've watched of this game. We should talk to Carolan. I just talked to her, I thought. Accept. There we go. And now I've got another grind quest. So, I mean, I've got another grind quest. I'm not going to waste a whole lot of time um, doing all of that because I'm sure there's more stuff you get into late in the game that I'm just not going to have time to show you. Um, so, yeah, the next, the next thing I was going to talk about requires that you have another person to talk to. Because this game has live, in-game voice and video chat. So if you ever wanted to put that webcam to the test, this game would be a good game to do so. Because you have the ability to do that. And that is something, personally, that I've never seen in a game before. And I really like the idea that you can, that you can actually have a video chat with somebody in the game. I mean, that's... I just feel like that's a really good thing to have. And I don't know why, and some people probably won't like that feature because people like the fact that you can remain anonymous online. So, I mean, it, it's not a feature for everybody. It's definitely not a game for everybody either. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of exploring here before I end the video because I don't want to show you the same repetitive stuff. I want to try to see if I can find one of those dynamic events. Uh, you're supposed to be able to just jump right into them, but I might be too low of a level, level to do that stuff yet. Um, they also have a planned feature that I read on their website called the World Timeline, and it's basically all players' activity will shape the world, and it'll have a history that you can interact with and watch everything that's happened to the world in the past. So you can see if like any major clan wars have broken out. Ooh, I got a loot. What is that? What is it? Oh, did I not loot it? Oh no. So yeah, there's a world timeline um, feature that's going to be planned. Like I said, you know, you, you're able to view the history of the world and watch, you know, if something drastic has happened to change the world over time. And then you can go visit the site or wherever it happened. And wish you were there for it <laughs> uh, so yeah th I mean this is the game this is you know urban galaxy online this is what it is so far and it's still in the early early phase of the game but it is open to the public so anybody can just log in on their website and start playing and there is literally no wait time to get into this game I mean all I did was make an account <laughs> and then it was telling me hey why don't you play our game and that's what happened. And now I'm here. <laughs> Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, all of that jazz. Uh, you know, check out our website and our forums while you're at it. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.